my surmise. And this one is too funny to not share. Are you going to have to spell on Trump? Those who don't like Donald Trump and the current Republican administration are mobilizing in all sorts of ways. Well, I knew that. They're speaking up in town halls and calling their representatives. They're organizing protests and demonstrations. And for the magically inclined, <laughs> they're casting spells. Starting at midnight on Friday, witches around the country are calling for mass spells to be cast on Donald Trump every night. From waiting crescent moon until he's driven from office. <laughs> the spell was publicized by Michael M. Hughes and told L. that time that uh, was tweet from multiple spells and saw going around private witch practice. He published it on extra news feed because it felt to be very welcome to a lot of people. It quickly spread with events being formed across the country and support on social media. <laughs> Unbelievable. You people are nuts! He was explaining that he chose a binding spell because we're not wishing to harm anyone. We're just trying to stop the harm from their doing. It's not equivalent to punching of punching a Nazi in the face. It's equivalent of tying him up and taking his bullhorn away. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. Uh, ritual itself is pretty standard magic working, binding Trump from doing harm to others and to himself rather than asking any forces to do harm to him. There are objects to represent the elements and to represent Trump himself. The tarot card of the power represents ambitions, ambitions built on lies, which are struck down by a lightning flash of truth. For those who believe in witchcraft, it looks like looks to be an effective spell. Uh, however, for those who don't, ritual can have meaning. Yeah, it does. Uh, they belong in a uh, mental hospital. Witches have gathered to create spells for social justice before, whether it was the hex convicted rapist Brock Turner, or exercise the Pentagon. My feeling was that people were feeling so helpless in the face of all this, said Hughes, which sees ritual not as much as anything as a self exorcism. What are you exercising? If anybody has demons, it's you people. So many of us are, too, are overwhelmed by this guy's face, this energy. It's ever-present and beating a lot of us down. I see this as a way of people reclaiming their own power. It's not just that we can stop him, but we can expunge him from ourselves. Oh, boy. He says that all are welcome, even those who are highly skeptical of magic. The real intention is just to get the energy focused at the same time as many people as possible. He said, people can participate in their own religious rituals or even perform as a joke or as an art project. No matter how you approach it, it's still going to be, it's still great to be part of it. Plus, we're sure you have some candles and one lying around. Unbelievable. These people are nuts. Nuts, 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 nuts. Uh, Mr. Hughes, sir, your magic has no effect on you. Uh, it has no effect on any rational person. It's a bullshit, is all it is. Witchcraft has no effect. 
you're just wasting your time with your stuff going to left because you people, half of you people are on welfare and you can afford to sit around on your fat asses whining about Trump. Well, some of us have to get up and do it every day. I ain't gonna get in trouble with a religious crowd because the religious crowd is gonna be alarmed by this. Uh, Mr. Religious Person, I'm an agnostic. I don't believe this crap. I believe there's are some paranormal forces because I've seen them to an extent, but boy, all I have new to black cats and covens that belongs in the uh, dark ages. This is Mr. Hughes, sir, this is 2017. We know this stuff is all bullshit, so I suggest you check yourself into a mental hospital and yes, I uh, have we did the Ouija board when I was young, and nothing ever happened. Ouija board is a toy. That's all it is. It's all bullshit. These people making these claims that you can't burn it, and it keeps coming back. Don't listen. You sir are not case in my book. They're not taking it back. I don't like you, so... <laughs> As Kirk would say. I'm on Facts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Unbelievable.